what's going on guys good morning it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood look at this sky today's episode is a quick episode you know i just want to answer a comment on my uh, one of the videos about my uh, cooling system my freshwater cooling system but you know if you're new to the channel a big welcome here cruising the south we share with you guys all the awesome places we go with the boat but also all the services problems and solutions we come across right so uh let me open the inside here i want to show you guys something one second man such a pretty day today is the boat show going on in Fort Lauderdale so we're probably gonna go over there and check how the boat show is this year so this is what I wanted to share, right? The difference between a full system and a half system. So just happens that, uh, you know, my uh, port side engine is a half system and my starboard engine is a full system. And the reason that it is, the, is like this, because when I did each engine, that's what I could find at the time, right? Because it was kind of middle of uh, COVID and uh, I kind of just wanted to get it done. And, but, as cooling goes, the, the, there's no difference, right? Both engines run at the 160, 170 mark because they both have, I think, the, uh, uh, the thermostat is 160, right? So the engines will be pretty much the same temperature. The only difference is that the half, uh, the, the half system only cools the block with antifreeze. And then so the water that goes, the, the, the salt water that goes inside of the heat exchanger to cool the antifreeze gets dumped on the bottom of the exhaust system. So that's hot water goes, you know, inside of the, all, the entire exhaust and it gets dumped out right where the full system you know the the block and the lower half of the exhaust system gets cooled by antifreeze so the only part that sees salt water is the elbow of the exhaust just the top because uh, on this setup the half system the gasket right there has you know penetration so the water can come through and gets dumped this one it's blocked so the top the the the, the top of the exhaust it's separated from the bottom half so the bottom gets cooled with uh, antifreeze so the antifreeze goes inside of the heat exchanger comes inside of the exhaust and then it gets pushed back into the heat exchanger for another cycle and then um, the salt water that goes inside of the heat exchanger to cool it gets dumped on the top of the exhaust manifold right where that on the, the half system the salt water goes through the entire exhaust system so the, you know, when I have to do service on the exhaust system on this end, I have to service the entire exhaust system, where on this one, I would only have to, you know, uh, service or replace just the top right here, because this is the only part that gets salt water. And, you know, that's, the, you know, you have your strainers down there, because that's the, how the heat gets exchanged, right? Like uh, the inside of the heat exchanger, it's a two-part system. So one, uh, one side passes uh, uh, salt water through like a, home con uh, a honeycomb structure type of thing. And, um, you know, and the antifreeze is separate in a separate chamber and it gets cooled by the water that's passing. And when you have to service these guys, you see like, of course, you would drain your coolants and stuff and you open this well either side and then you will see the honeycomb structure that i was talking about and then you can like use barnacle buster or whatever to clean the inside of it and you can see both of them is the same thing you see you clean you open each side and uh you'll be able to clean it but uh i think like every two or three years you know maybe a little longer you should be doing that other than that just you know as long as you uh, fresh rinse every time you use it you know, you should go fine for like years to come without having to deal with anything. See on this setup here, my thermostat is actually inside of this thing here. So that's where my thermostat is. And uh, this one, the thermostat actually is still over here. So the setup is a little bit different, you know, but when it's running, you know, at the thermostat, the temperature is exactly the same. The exhaust kind of pretty much the same. This one here does, the exhaust runs a little bit warmer on this side, which, you know, it's fine, like no difference really. But on higher RPM, if I'm going like, you know, 3,500, 4,000 RPM, this engine here makes a bit more steam than this one which uh you know i figured the cooling system on this one works better because uh, it's more of a stream coming out and this one shares you know so but yeah you know very easy setup to install like um you know i 
bought the block separate and I bought this system separate, you know, I actually bought it on eBay. But, uh, you know, that listing expires, you know, so I have, you would have to find the, the exactly one that works for your setup. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit and, you know, and uh, so there you go. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, if you go to the description below, I have, uh, you know, all the parts and gadgets that I use on the engines or our trips. I have the Amazon affiliate links. So if you guys go through those links and purchase anything, you guys help out the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I see you guys in the very next episode. Thank you, guys.